Hi all. In this video, let's learn about HTML picture element. So what it is, how to use it, when to use it exactly. So let's discuss them. So we'll uh, write a picture element. So picture element, okay. This picture element allows us to display different pictures for different devices or different screens. So this is the use case of this picture. So this is what the picture mean. In this picture element, you'll be having source elements. So you'll be having source element, okay? This source element, what does the source element do? It will refer to each image. You can have this source elements, one or more. In this source image, we'll be having source SRC. With this, you, you are going to refer to the image. Here you can give the URL of the image or you can give the image path. So for now, I'm giving the URL. So I will uh, have taken a image from W3. So I'm copying here. So now I have taken one source element and have given the SRC to that source uh, element. So now, as we discussed, this image can have one or more source elements. So now I will take one more element here. So I will uh, explain you what exactly I'm doing here. So now in a picture element, I have one or many source elements. Okay. Now e this source element source element will not will have one more attribute, not only the source SRC, it will have one more attribute called media. This media will define or uh, it will tell which image will suit to exact screen or the device. In this media, you're going to write the media query type of thing. So like min width. So if the min width is equal to 650 pixel. So if the min minimum width is equal to 650 pixel, then load this image. So that is what we are doing here. So similarly, I will do the same for the another source tag. So here I'm uh, defining the same part, like uh, the minimum width is, so let me write, and uh, I will give the minimum width as 465 pixel. So now you, you mentioned two source resources. If the medium, like uh, if our screen size minimum width is 650 pixel, then we are loading this image. If the width is six, uh, 465 pixels, then we will be loading this image. So this is the what like a media query. We are uh, bringing the CSS media query into the HTML. With the, H with the help of HTML picture element, we can achieve the CSS media query type of thing. So not only this source tag, at the end you need to mention an image tag. So this, is, this should be mentioned at the end, as a end children. So uh, I will explain you why you need to mention it as an end children. So I will uh, copy one more image. So just give an uh, image and uh, SRC here. So why you are going to mention this image at the end? So assume that uh, or uh, refer this as a switch statement. So picture element is like a switch statement based upon the width of the screen, it will execute or it will show this respective image and it will come out of the picture. If the resolution or the screen size doesn't match this two source resources, then it will display this image so it is like a default in the switch statement so if if you consider this as a switch statement this is one of the switch so this would be one of the condition and this is another condition and you can consider this image as a default statement in the switch and also some of the browsers will not allow or uh, they don't know about this picture element so in that case also this image tag will work and uh, this is a second way, like uh, if uh, the browser doesn't understand the picture element also, and a picture element or source element also, you will you'll be having this image as a fallback image. So that's the reason you need to mention this image tag as a last children of the picture. So this is about the picture element. So uh, let's see the output once and I will explain you the reasons when to use this. Uh, let's see this. So at the first, the width is more. So that's the reason we got this image so now let me uh, reduce the width of the screen so once the width is reduced so i got a different image so once if i reduce the an uh, another screen you will be getting the another image see if i reduce you will be getting based upon the screen width the images are modifying this is the main use case of this picture element so now let me explain you when to use this picture 
elements so the first thing is the first use case is like format support for example some of the browsers will not support svg type of like if you have an image like png and if you have one more thing and if you have an svg so some browsers will not support the format of the images so in that case you can give different type of formats of the images so that a browser which can understand the respective format then it will pick that src set and it will load that image and it will ignore the remaining source elements so that's the first use case like uh, all, all the browsers may not support all the formats so that's the reason you can give the different formats and it can pick the format which it is supported and it will show the image instead of showing a broken image or instead of showing an uh, alternate alternate text for the image you can use this so that's the first use case and the second use case is the bandwidth for example if you have a small screen if you have a small screen and uh, a small device it is not necessary to load a large image because the bandwidth is a uh, less uh, if you take a small screen uh, the bandwidth issues will be there in those type of screens instead of loading a large image you can decide to load a small image or a image which is blur or a png image which has a less size so in these scenarios also you can use this picture element so this is about html picture element how to use is like this and the use cases are the format format support and the brand width support is a use cases when to use this picture elements so this picture element is like you are going to use the images or pictures for the different different pictures for the different devices so this is a use case of this html picture element hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos